Hi friends, it's Miss Christina, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bird feeder out of some recycled materials and things you might have lying around your house. I have my special assistant Olive here, although I don't know how much help she's going to be. So for this craft, you just need a few things. The most important is a water bottle like this. Um, I have a 23 ounce size. I find that this is a really good size for this. Um, anything between 20 ounces to a liter. You can use something smaller. Um, I just find it can be a little bit harder to work with. And you can also use a two liter, which is much bigger. Um, but again, I just find this to be the best size. So you want to make sure that it's empty and that you dry it out. Mine looks a little bit dirty because I was testing this out first. So you just want it to be dry and clean and ready to go. Um, and make sure that it has a cap or a lid on it. You will also need two large wooden or plastic spoons like this. So these are the kinds that you use for baking and for mixing things. Um, I will show you how we're going to place them in there so you can decide if you want to use one or two. Um, for our sake, we're gonna do two. You'll also need some scissors. Make sure you have a grown-up help you uh, with certain parts of this because we are going to be cutting into the bottle to make room for our spoons. And it can be a little bit dangerous. You wanna make sure that you're being safe and that nobody gets hurt. You will also need some twine to hang your bird feeder up. And of course you need some bird seed. So I picked up this kind, it says it's universal blend. So it's supposed to be good for a lot of different kinds of birds. They have all different kinds of these at the store. They have ones that are specifically for certain kinds of birds. Um, I just got the one that seemed to have like a good variety of things in it. And then you also will need a funnel. Um, one of these days I will buy a funnel and make my life easier, but today is not that day. So I'm just gonna use some paper here and we'll make our own funnel. <laughs> I'll show you how to do that when we get to that point. So you're gonna start with your water bottle and we're gonna make some holes in here. Now I already made some just so I could show you what it looks like. So about, let's say about two inches from the bottom, you're going to make a hole on one side. And then on a slight angle, you're gonna make a hole on the other side, but this one's gonna be a lot bigger. Now let me show you why. Your spoon is gonna go through there and you want the handle end to go through the hole that's higher up so that the spoon part of it is lower on this kind of an angle. So mine is already made just to show you. So you can just slide it through. Now you'll see it's a little bit of an angle. It's not too steep. Um, we want it to be on an angle so that it helps the food come down and to fall onto the spoon. If it's too steep of an angle like this, the food's just gonna fall out onto the ground. And um, if it's straight across, it might have some difficulty coming down. So a nice slight angle like this is good. And the reason why you want the one side to be bigger is because part of the neck of the spoon is going to be in the hole like this. On the other side, it can be smaller because it's just for the handle, which is smaller around. But here, part of the neck is in there. And then the other reason why you want it to be bigger is, as you can see, the hole comes up here. It's to help the food come down. So this is basically one little perch for a bird. So you could have a bird sitting here and you could have one here having a snack. And then, so I can walk you through the whole process, we're gonna put a second one and it's gonna go across like this up here. You don't want them to be in the exact same position like this because what's gonna happen? The bird that's down here is probably not gonna be able to fit in there, right? You can do it this way, but again, if you have a bird that's standing on this part, they're not gonna have room. They're gonna 
probably bump their head on the bottom of this spoon. So you want it to go across like this, kind of like a T shape, right? So if you're just doing the one spoon, this is probably the place where you want it. Like I said, about two inches from the bottom. But if you want to do two, we're going to start with this one here, and then you're going to go about two more inches up. So somewhere right up two to three, somewhere right around here. And we're going to go this direction. So I'm going to take this one out to give us some more room. So what you want to do in order to make your holes is to start with the smaller hole. It's a little bit harder to make, but you just want to be careful. And again, if you need an adult to help you, then that's a good idea that you get some assistance. So what you're going to do is you're going to find about where you want it. So I'm going to make the hole here. And with the plastic bottle, you can sort of pinch it like this. And it makes it easier to cut because then you just have to do like a little snip. So I'm going to pinch that like this. And I'm going to make just a little snip with my scissors. Snipped it out of my hands. <laughs> Let me try it again. A little snip. So, and then you just kind of push it back into place. So, there's, um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little cut right there. So, obviously your handle isn't going to fit in there yet. So you wanna take your scissors and again, being very careful, keeping your fingers out of the way, you're going to put the scissors into that slit like this, okay? And then you're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Not too big because you want the spoon to sit in there nice and snug so it doesn't slide around, but just a little bit. So we're gonna turn this into a little hole. So let's see, you can see there. And then you can test it by putting your, whoop, putting your spoon in. So there. It fits, it's nice and sturdy. And remember this is gonna go through to the other side. So that's gonna help stabilize it as well. So, you want the end that the spoon part is on to be lower. Remember, we want that slight angle. So we can keep this in here and just kind of tilt it downwards a little bit. So you can see, let's see where your, you can feel where it is in there. And that's where you want to make your other hole. So mine just, to make it easy on myself is kind of where this white line is. So I'm going to take this out again. And again, we're just going to pinch the plastic where we want that hole and snip. Okay. And then pop it back into place. So again, I have a little slit right here. Now, this one we want to be bigger because remember we're putting part of this where it, where it widens is gonna be in the hole. And we want it to be kind of a half circle sort of a shape. So if you look at the one that I made down here, it doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't have to. But it's kind of, it's more straight on the bottom and kind of rounded on the top. Remember again, that's so the spoon can rest here and then the food can fall out from the top. So that's the kind of shape that we want and about that size. And if you make it too small at first, that's okay. You can make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna find my little slit and remember it very carefully. Put your scissors inside like that and then just cut a circular shape on the top and keep it pretty flat on the bottom. Let's see, I got that. Let's see if it'll fit. 
Let's test it out. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. So you see it's just a very slight angle with the spoon being on the lower side. And it just rests there right on that flat bottom part. And then you can see the hole right there where the food's gonna come out. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't have to adjust that one. But if you do, that's totally okay. So when you're making yours, if you want to do two, then this is about where you want them to be. So I'm gonna put this in here just to show you what they look like together. So we've got one up top, one on the bottom. They're a few inches apart and it's that imperfect T-shape, but that way everybody's got room you know, where your birds want to hang out. They've got a few different places to perch. Okay, so once you have your spoons in place like that, then you can add your bird seed. So one thing I learned when I was doing it last time is if you have someone to help you, it's even better. They can sort of put their finger over the hole to keep the bird seed from spilling out. Um, if you don't have anyone to give you a hand, that's okay. You just want to maybe turn your bottle on an angle so when you put the bird seed in there, it's not flying out of the holes. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take the top off and you wanna do this when the um, spoons are in there. And both of my larger holes are on kind of that side. So I'm gonna turn my bottle sort of like this. And because I don't have a funnel, I was gonna show you my trick. So I just have this thick piece of cardstock and um, I'm going to cut a smaller strip. So it's like this. And then you just kind of fold it into a cone shape like that. So you have a hole on the bottom and then you can put that hole into your bottle and then add the food that way. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger on the bottom um, until one day when I buy a funnel. Because uh, I always seem to need one for my experiments and my crafts. Okay, so just like that and then you can add your bird seed. So, bag here. I'm going to bring it down here. It's a little bit easier for me, but you just want to add it all the way to the top. Okay, so we've got some in there and we're gonna keep going. So I am going to pause and fill up my bottle and when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to finish. All right, my friends, so I've filled up my bottle most of the way, not quite to the top, um, but you can see that the bird seed has spilled out onto both of the spoons there. So it's ready for any hungry birds to come along. So now you want to put your cap on. Just be careful because if you tilt it, the bird seed's gonna fall off. Um, Okay, not too tight. You want it to be able to open it again um, when you need to fill this back up. So 
hopefully you get a lot of birds in your yard taking advantage of this cool bird feeder and you have to fill it up for more. So now that you have the cap on, we need something to tie it, right? So you can put this on a tree branch or if you have some kind of um, like a hook in your lawn um, to put th different decorations and things on, you can do that. So I have some twine here and I'm going to cut a pretty long strip, maybe a couple feet there. And I'm going to cut it. Okay. And then I'm going to, let me turn my camera a little. I'm going to go around the neck of the bottle and I'm going to tie it. You might want to double knot it just to make it nice and sturdy and strong. Okay, and then you're gonna take your two ends and you're going to tie those together. And this I would probably triple knot if you can. So just like that. Oop. Slippery. And then a second time. You're gonna make sure you give yourself enough twine to work with. And then one more time to make it nice and strong. Okay, like that. And then you can hang it up in your yard. Just like that. But you want to make sure you do, like I said, probably three knots at the top. Um, because this isn't heavy, but you want it to be sturdy and not fall over. Um, so that is how you make a bird feeder out of a recycled water bottle and some spoons. So I hope you have a lot of fun making this and that you maybe take a picture when you're done and you can send it to us so we can see. I would love to see if there are some birds in your yard that are using it. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.